The 105mm light gun and 50 cal heavy machine gun rained down on their target. In charge, 7 para RHA, the artillery support to 16 air assault brigades, air assault task force. Para trained gunners who are on standby to go anywhere in the world. Here, they're rehearsing how to attack armoured vehicles close to their front line. The idea of artillery is traditionally as an indirect weapon. The guns are kept further back for safety and firing on targets that they can't generally see. But this is something different, a direct fire mission, a target within their line of sight. It's a massive adrenaline rush going for it because you're going in, Everyone's shouting, it's just hard, fast. We could be firing at targets up to 2K, and in some cases, maybe up to 4K away, but we can actually see what we're firing at, so the process is a lot quicker and a lot faster. It's really valuable. We, obviously, we do quite a lot of our, our training dry, so the chance to get out uh, and do a big exercise, firing as a regiment for the first time uh, in a long time, um, if it brings everyone together, and it's a chance to do things that, as a regiment, we haven't done for, for several years, so yeah, it's a really good experience. The guns are split into those that move forward and those firing from the gun pits. Everyone has their set positions. Number one, fire! So you have your number one, typically your sergeant, dressed to the rear, in comms with the CP down at the bottom. You then have your uh, cover number, typically like bombardier, doing your fuses, checking your ammo, and then handing it on to your loader, who stood in the trails. And then you've got your layer who's on the computer screen. And then myself, I'm ramming, so on the other side, pushing the projector up into the barrel and then closing the breach. Correct. On, fire. One, round's complete. Exercise Cypher Strike proves these soldiers are ready to support 16 Air Assault Brigade. But this time round, seven para RHA have tried to take things further fighting across Norfolk and Salisbury Plain, practising deploying by air and their infantry skills. That's all had the wrap around it of a scenario which gives them the freedom and also makes them make decisions uh, so that down at the lowest level they're actually making decisions about what they should do rather than just being told fire this mission then fire that mission they're actually having to think about it in the context of a tactical scenario. And that includes also working in built-up areas where the guns have to fire at much tighter angles. Often we don't do it by choice, but it might be by necessity. And it's very easy just to go for the wide open rolling planes and actually deploying those guns into an urban environment. It's a different skill set, which if we don't do it, then come the day of the race, we may well be caught out. If the call came, these troops would enter the theatre of operations by air, parachuting into battle with their 1.8 tonne guns. Soldiers, gunners and parachute trained, these batteries are on five days notice to move anywhere in the world.